welcome 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 this is your girl welcome back so today i'm going to show you how i achieve these two looks in my t-shirts and my shirts and my all my merch so before we get started make sure you like comment and subscribe and also subscribe to my facebook and social media pages so you can see more of my updates so this is how i get started i do my design and design space you really don't need to own a cricut machine in order to download down space to come up with designs it's actually free and they do have paid versions that you pay for certain things but it's much easy to come up with your own designs and just transfer it over into design space so i did the i as you see i cut out my design and Cricut Space. So now I'm prepping the shirt. That's my Easy Press 2. So what you do is you want to go over your item where you're going to place it at. Just to give it that warm feel. It helps the HTV vinyl sticks even better. So I'm prepping it. And a tip that I learned a long that I learned over the months is if you don't have the tools to identify where you want to put your centerpiece at so you don't put your design too close to the neck or it's not too low down if you understand what i'm saying so the tips that i learned is you want to put the the, the design where you you could kind of eyeball it a little bit but you go by the sleeve the un the underarm pit of the sleeve so you kind of want to make that the top part of where you're going to place your your design so if you was to think about it just just do it with me as we doing it put your hands by your underarm where it starts you will see that goes across your the top part of your chest and that's where you kind of want your design to start so that's what you see me doing that i'm showing you in the video where i kind of measured it and you just kind of keep eyeballing a little bit you could kind of see with this is kind of help help me because of the strikes so it helps me making sure that i can tell that it's even because of the lines of the strikes so i know it's gonna go even across so you see me setting it once i got it set and with my easy press for this pattern is set at 325 for 49 seconds so you see me i got it on you really don't have to move it but because the design is a big design so what i'm going to do is i let it press on the top part of it for half of the, the minutes and then i bring it down and let it press for the other half but i'm still learning and i'm working and most htv transfer um tells you the settings on how long to the set how long to set it and if you're using an iron or you're using a press machine a heat press machine it kind of tells you how long to press it for and the temperature so you'll kind of get that with a lot of that and also with this machine is so the easy press it has a guide that tells you the settings on what to um set your um your press on for certain items and certain things that you're working with so as i always say in all my videos that i do learn your machines learn your product that you're dealing with learn 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 is the key you're gonna make mistakes and you're gonna make errors so i try to come on come on and show you how to do it and if i make the error i make the mistake at least i don't want made it you didn't so we learn together and i'm trying to keep you from making any of the mistakes that i have made in the past or i didn't make so like i said we learn it together and as you see so now i pressed it and with this it's a warm pill so i was letting it warm a little bit so i was like something new that i'm trying so i flipped it over and now i'm pressing because what you i learned as 
once you finish your design, you want to flip your your shirt over and you want to, from behind, you want to press it for maybe four to five minutes. That helps give your, your shirt, your sweatshirt, your hoodie, whatever you're doing, it give it a long lifetime. If you understand what I'm saying, it makes it make your shirt hoodie. Like I was saying, it makes it last longer. It give it a better long life wear, if you understand what I'm saying. So when you turn it over and you press from the back and you rub, you rub it just for like four to five minutes, like I said, it give it that extra heat to it that makes your design last longer and then you see i flipped it over and then you just want to give it a nice little pull a nice little stretch that also helps with the vinyl when it's while it's kind of nice and warm help stretch so when you put it on the customer put it on you know it, they don't have to worry even though you have a lot of vinyl that you can get that is a stress material or vinyl doesn't come like stress material so you just want to give it that little extra pull so that way it doesn't when a person puts it on it doesn't have that that crack looking where the, the the design is cracking up so that helps that's just a tip that i learned from a couple of other people and i'm passing that on so as you see, so I did turn it back over like I normally would do and just ran it again, which I probably didn't have to being that I did it early on, but I just, it's just a habit of it. So I did it again anyway. So here you have it. I think it came out beautiful, super, super dope. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you walked away with a little bit, something new. Like I said, I think it came out dope. It's beautiful, happy mind, happy life. You know, it's easy to design, easy to cut. Even if you don't have a machine, you can still make the design. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel.